Hey guys, I want to talk with you a little bit today about something that I like to think of in life as the intermediary periods. And what I mean by this is I think we're all guilty of doing this at, at one point or another. Um, we set up these mileage markers, these goalposts, let's say, for our life of some future thing down the road that we're looking forward to or whatever it might be. And I think we have a way of, of making an excuse almost for ourselves of putting off what could be present moment happiness because we're just like, we have this rationalization in our minds that like, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll be happy when I get down the road to like my next vacation or my next, you know, job or my next, you know, point of accomplishment or whatever it is that you're looking towards and forward and down the road. And those things are all well and good to have in life. Of course, we need to have things like that. But the, the essence of my message here and the point that I'm trying to convey to you is that I feel like 90% of our lives really occurs in these periods between the immediate now and whatever that, that far off goalpost might be. And I think a lot of us find ourselves just living inside of our heads and just, you know, whatever way you want to say this, um, you know, just kind of mushing through this, this mental, uh, emotional, everyday grind that we go through as normal human beings on the earth. And the point that I'm trying to make here is that really if you can maintain a consciousness about this and really truly look at your life this way, you will start to seek happiness in your present moment, in, in the immediate now. And that's really, I think, a, a big part about being happy in life in general is just this come into this realization, this fact that it's like you don't have to put off happiness until you get down to whatever that point is down the road. You can have that in this immediate moment of your now. In fact, like you, you should have that in this immediate moment because once again, the, the only real things that we have in our lives are the, the immediate right now, every second as it breaks open reality of, of what our existences are. That's all we really have in life. That's just a fact of the matter. So it's like, in my mind, like, why would you put off happiness that you could have in the now because of that downrange rationalization, right? So like, let's take the example of a vacation. You, know, you, you might say to yourself, well, you know, what makes me really happy about going on a vacation is you know, sitting on a beach, getting a suntan, going for a swim in the ocean, maybe going out for a, a tropical cocktail in the evening time. Those are the things I really enjoy and I'll, I'll have fun and, and be happy when I get to do those things, you know, weeks or months down the road, right? But the reality is that there's no reason why you can't have a piece of that happiness. If those are truly things that you love doing, you know, you, you can certainly have these like right now, today, tonight, the next hour, whatever it is, you know, it, it could come in the form of go sit out on your sun deck and, and get a little bit of sunshine, get a little bit of a tan, go for a swim in your local community swimming pool, mix yourself a, a tropical cocktail at night after you get home from work, whatever it is that, that, uh, that makes you happy. And those are just, those are some very off the, the top of my head examples of some things, but it might be different for you if you like to read or if you like anything, whatever it is, listening to music, baking, cooking, you know, going out, socializing, being with friends. Like don't don't get into this trap of rationalization where, like I said, you're you're just we all we're good for some reason at coming up with excuses of, oh well I, I can't do this or I won't do this until I get to XYZ point, whatever it is. And it's it is, of course, when you step back and look at it, a complete squandrance of the moments that you have on this earth. And we all, I think, would agree that our most precious and valuable commodity that we all have is our time on the earth. It's, it is limited. And I just think if you're able to look at your life in this fashion and, and keep this mentality every day when you go through life, I, I do believe you will be a generally happier person because you are you're making an attempt and you are... You're trying to experience those things that hap make you happy on a more constant basis, on a daily basis, perhaps. Whatever that looks like for you, this is going to be different for every person. But like I said, the only message I'm trying to get across to you here is that 90% of your time is spent in the intermediary physically, right? You know, don't, don't waste that intermediary, intermediary time, if you will. All right, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk to you real soon.